We are going to download and install the Electrum Wallet. As you can see from here, if you go to downloads on electrum.org, you can download and install the wallet for the operating system of your choice. And I've already done that. So once you do that, you'll just open the file and it'll have you connect to a server either automatically or you can select a server manually if you're running your own Bitcoin node. Um, that offers a tiny bit more privacy, but we're going to go ahead and select auto connect. You'll use the Electrum servers when you select auto, auto connect. And then we are going to name the wallet. The name will just be for your own personal references. In case you install multiple wallets, you can tell which is which. You can leave default wallet or name it to whatever you're choosing. Select next, and we're going to select standard wallet. Next again, because we're creating a wallet for the first time, we don't have a seed yet, so we will create a new seed. And it will automatically generate a seed for you cryptographically. And this seed phrase right here is the most important thing. Um, once you have this seed phrase, you will want to protect it. So you don't want to copy this and store it on your computer. What you'll want to do is actually write it down on a piece of paper that you can store safely in a safe or somewhere of your choosing where it first you won't lose it and second no one else will have access to it because with these 12 words you can restore the wallet in case you lose your device, your computer breaks or whatever. You can restore the entire wallet just using these 12 words. So if anyone else accesses these 12 words, they'll also be able to restore your wallet, which you would not want. So once you've written down these 12 words, and just for this video, I'm going to copy and paste them into a notepad because in the next screen, it will make you verify that you have, in fact, written down these words. And then you can select next. And then you choose a password. The password is just for the wallet on this device. If you lose your password, forget your password, you'll have to restore your wallet using those 12 words, uh, the seed phrase. But this will keep anyone from being able to access your wallet on this particular device. So you can put whatever password you want. You don't have to put a password at all, but it is recommended and then select next. Now um, it's going to ask you if you'd like to receive notifications when new versions of Electrum are available. You can select yes. And there you have it. That is as simple as can be. You now have a wallet uh, that can store Bitcoin. What I like to do at first to set up this wallet is go to tools and preferences. Um, I personally like dark mode. Um, and then you'll go to fiat and select the fiat of your choice. I'll select USD and then that will automatically calculate the current price of Bitcoin for you in US dollars. Um, and then if you go to, there's one last thing, uh, base unit. Uh, you can set it to SATs, BITS, MBTC, or just BTC. I prefer BTC, but that's totally up to your preference. It's just how uh, your Bitcoin is measured, but it makes no difference. And then I'm going to restart the wallet, so it restarts in dark mode, which you do not have to do. Okay, and now we have dark mode running. I also like to go to view and turn on addresses so you can view all your available Bitcoin addresses in the wallet. And as you use an address, a new one will automatically be created. The wallet manages all of that by itself. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, and if you restore the wallet with the 12 word seed phrase, all of these will automatically be restored as well. So, um, 
Yeah, to give you an example of how the wallet works, I will select a, an address. You can select any address. Here's where the balances would be, the number of transactions for each address. As you can see, they're all at zero. Um, so just select the receiving address, and we can simply send Bitcoin to this address. Scan the QR code to do that. Or the other way is to just go to receive, and you can put a description if you'd like, like for test video. You can put an amount if you'd like. I'm just going to, yeah, create request. And as you can see, when you do that, it just grabs the very first address available that has not been used yet. And generate a QR code for that address. I'm going to send $1 worth of Bitcoin to this address just to show how it works. Let me scan that QR code, send $1, sending. And if you go to the history tab, as soon as the wallet recognizes it, there you go. It's unconfirmed, but it is incoming. The Blockchain sees it as incoming, and there you have it. Um, 0 0.000029 Bitcoin, which is the equivalent of one US dollar. As you can see here, it denominates it in US dollars as exactly one US dollar. And if we go back to the address tab, you can see that this address has received one transaction in the amount of the Bitcoin I sent to it, one US dollar or 0 0.000029 Bitcoin. And that's basically how you use it. To send a transaction, you would simply go to the send tab and input the Bitcoin address you'd like to send it to, the amount of Bitcoin you'd like to send in either BTC or USD terms, and then you would click pay. And that is basically how the Electrum wallet works. Um, thank you for watching.